assalamu alaikum students hope everyone is fine this is english literature for grade 5 online lecture number 3 as you all know that we are reading a very exciting novel the adventures of huckleberry finn today we will discuss the very last chapter of this novel uh, freedom chapter number 12 freedom okay before starting chapter uh, chapter number uh, 12 Let's take a quick recap of uh, chapter number eleven, Prisoner Jim. As we read in our uh, last previous uh, lecture, that uh, how together uh, Tom and Huck made a plan to help uh, Jim escape from his prison and outdoor shed. Tom, always a troublemaker, also makes Jim's life difficult by putting snakes and spiders into his room. After a great deal of planning, the boys conceive. Uh, convince the uh, town that a group of thieves is planning to steal Jim. That night, they collect Jim and start to run away. The local farmers follow them, shooting as they run after them. Huck, Jim, and Tom manage to escape, but Tom is shot in the leg. Okay, hope you have done the reading of the uh, chapter number twelve. Uh, let me summarize the main points of this chapter. and let's see what is the ending of this novel okay uh, so in uh, this chapter you will read that uh, uh, huck returns to town to fetch a doctor whom he sends to tom and jim's hiding place the doctor returns with tom on a stretcher and jim in chains jim is treated badly until uh, the doctor describes how jim helped him take care of the boy When Tom awakens, he demands that they let Jim go free. At this point, Aunt Polly appears, having uh, travelled all the way down the river. She realized something was very wrong after her sister wrote to her that both Tom and Sid had arrived. Aunt Polly tells uh, them that Jim is indeed a free man because the widow had passed away and freed him in her will. How can Tom give Jim? Forty dollars for being such a good prisoner and letting them free him, while in fact uh, he had been free for quite some time. After this revelation, Jim tells Huck to stop worrying about his pap and reveals that the dead man in the floating house was in fact Huck's father. Aunt Sally offers to adopt Huck, but he refuses on the grounds that he had tried that sort of lifestyle once before, and it didn't suit him. Huck concludes the novel stating he would never have undertaken the task of writing out his story in a book had he known it would take so long to complete so this was the end of the novel okay now come to the exercise uh note down these words in your notebook and make sentences of the following words number first word is freedom which means liberty Number second word is bandage, which means a dressing used to protect an injured part of a body. Number third word is swear, which means make a promise. Fourth word is arguing, which means persuade someone to do or not to do something. Number fifth word is pleased, which means happy. Sixth word is nervous. which means anxious or worried uh next word is joyful which means happy next word is trouble which means difficulty ninth word is ashamed which means to feel sorry next is spectacles which means a pair of glasses Number eleventh word is admit, means acknowledge, and fourth, uh, the last word is forgive, which means pardon or excuse. Okay, now question answers. Uh, note down uh, the questions in your notebooks and write the answers. Question number one: Why did Aunt Polly come over? What make her suspicious? Aunt Polly came over because she got letters that Tom and Jim were here 
and aunt sally didn't reply to any of the letters question number 2 who say polite words about slave jim and what did he say yes you uh, guess it right the doctor said polite words about slave jim doctor said to aunt sally and uncle silas that uh, not to be too rough with jim when he needed to cut out a bullet he gave away his freedom for the boy and he has never seen a better nurse and he said a slave like jim's worth a thousand dollars and some kindness too question number 3 what did jim tell huck about pap jim told huck that pap was dead when they were on jackson's island in the floating house there was a dead body it was of pap and he would never come back so students it was the end of the novel hope you liked it uh, okay i will share uh, the map of uh, huckleberry finn's journey yes down the mississippi river you can see from where he started and where he ended his journey through this map okay students thank you this was the end of uh, lecture number 3 uh, hope you have understand it uh, with this lecture our literature syllabus is finished from next uh, video you will get your revision worksheet to get the revision worksheets do subscribe schools youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the notifications on time thank you so much take care